Second round action after a brief little break to let this board complete their games. We do have four players playing their round two matches here in Wigan. We're going to show you on this streaming board. We will see Scott Mitchell, a former BDO world champion, taking on Big John Henderson. But right now we've got Adrian Gray, the conqueror, the man from Hastings. And the reigning PDC champion of the world, the reigning Masters champion as well. And a man who has probably been the standout player from the opening four Pro Tour events of the year. Peter Snakebite Wright. He's played more games than anyone else. He's got a higher average than anyone else. He is yet to win one, though, curiously. Surely it's only a matter of time, though, because Snakebite is playing some absolutely unreal stuff at the minute. Peter Wright. Back-to-back quarterfinals in the first weekend, back-to-back semi-finals in the second weekend. He's only been denied by some stunning stuff from the players that have knocked him out. Ian White did it last Sunday. On the Saturday, it was Michael Van Gerwen. The previous weekend, it was Nathan Aspinall and Jeff Smith. 60. I mean, it's not as if he's losing to players who haven't won massive titles themselves or loads of these titles it's just taking something very special to stop him picked up a win against Rob Cross in the Premier League on Thursday night looked absolutely unreal for most of the match averaging 110 only won it 7-5 because Cross kept on finding ways to sneak legs he's played Adrian Gray before on four occasions, in fact. But only Pretty one cool. of them any time in the recent past. That was over in Barnsley at the Metrodome last summer. He won that 7-2. That was the day that Adrian Gray went and made a semi-final. Now, the standout run there 130. by Adrian last year kind of came out of a clear blue sky. He hadn't been going deep into many of these tournaments, but found himself in a semi-final. Picked up some scalps along the way as well. 60. But ran into Snakebite, who then dominated in that final one. 8 1 against Joe Cullen. That's when he was really playing superbly. He's playing like that now. Game shots. 15 data. You just kind of expect it. If Peter Wright is, is throwing 15 darts on a leg and he hasn't won it, or the leg hasn't finished, then it kind of surprises you at a minute. You just think that he's going to be averaging a ton 100. or more. That day, by the way, that Peter Wright, when he beat Adrian Gray, it was a dominant performance. He started off the day, it was a 6-4 win against Madis Rasma, and then a 6-5 against Alan Norris, but then he just went berserk. 6-0 v Matt Clark, 6-1 Jeffrey Desvan, 6-0 Devin Peterson. 7-2 Adrian Gray and 8-1 Joe Cullen. He was just not going to be denied. 93. Now, even though he made that semi-final last year, Adrian Gray, he didn't do enough in all the other events to even make it to Minehead in the Players' Championship Finals. So that kind of shows you how much of a, a shock run it was. Certainly got talent, Adrian. Nobody's disputing that but he just hadn't been producing consistently enough. Two trouble twenties will leave a finish. 58. Loads of room in there. One hundred and forty. No surprise that Peter Wright leaves himself a two dart checkout. Fifteen dart hold, potentially eleven or twelve dart break. Peter Wright could do that all game, average hundred and ten, and walk away with a six nil win. He could do that against anybody. That's the thing. Adrian Gray, he already knows, with the way that Peter Wright has been playing, he may have to find some twelve darters. There are some legs that he will not win, unless he throws it in twelve darts or fewer. Tops, tops. There's one. And there's another. Peter Snakebite Wright. Textbook stuff. 
12 darter, tops, tops, check out, breaks the throw, 2-0, 111 average. This is what he is doing, and he is doing it on an alarmingly regular basis. 140. couple of spells last year when he looked like he was the best player in the world and when he beat Adrian around that sort of June July time that was one of them for Peter Wright he's playing like that now and it doesn't seem like it's going to change anytime soon speaking to him on Thursday night after his victory over Rob Cross in the Premier League his first win in the Premier League this year it should be noted was defeated by Michael Van Gerwen narrowly and then only got a draw against Gary Anderson. But, I mean, the fact he got a draw when he was hobbling around with a, an ankle injury was pretty impressive. But Peter Wright just said, look, I, I do. I feel different. I feel amazing. Just, you know, try being me for 15 minutes. You realise how confident I am. I think I can do anything. I think I can win everything. And with the way that he's playing, can't really say that he's not in with a chance of winning 96. more major titles. The UK Open is the one that he's targeted. That's obviously the next one coming up. And it is the, the first major title that Peter Wright picked up. Double 12, look at this. Game shot. It might be snake bites time, you know. So often he's played second fiddle. He's seen Michael Van Gerwen beat him over and over again in major finals. Phil Taylor, of course, beat him in the final of the match play. He's seen Gary Anderson go and win major titles. And all the time, Peter Wright has been playing some really good world-class darts, but not been picking up those big titles. Now might be the time. He's been the dominant force on the Euro Tour at times. He's hoovered up floor titles in spells. 121. If Peter Wright were to have a, a year like Gary Anderson did a couple of years ago or like Michael Van Gerwen has had where he picks up multiple big TV titles, he's already got the Worlds, he's already got the Masters. He'd already won the UK Open, what, three years ago now. If Snakebite has one of those years where he picks up another two major titles, say he wins the UK Open, say he wins the match play, then, I mean, he's going to have a real assault on Michael Van Gogh and at the number one. Peter, uh, Peter Wright should be number one in the world. That was what Phil Taylor said in his final year before retiring. He said if he doesn't get to world number one, he needs to kick up the backside. Well, at the minute, he's playing darts, which suggests that it could happen eventually. It's just how long can this keep going? Oh, well, there's a loose one. A rare loose one. But the fact that it leaves him a one treble finish is much better than leaving yourself one six nine, which is a well, not a finish. Ninety seven. Various options here. Single eighteen. For another twelve dart leg. Game shot. This is special. 15 data followed by 12, 11, 12. The average is 120 for Peter Snakebite Wright. This is a man who has the highest ever broadcast average, 123.5. 180. And the average is climbing. Ninety-three. One of the things that Peter Wright has said about these darts is that I will win things and I will hit more nine darters. He is not a player who has hit many nine darters in his career. It is weird. Last year he was hitting more 180s than anybody in the world. 
We know that Peter, right, one of his 100. signatures is that he takes out these big combination finishes. If he produces one here, it is a nine darter. Oh, but we will not see it. 105. Well, Adrian Gray has just got a smirk. I mean, he knows he's up against some absolutely unreal stuff. Peter Wright on a 10 darter. We are in world record territory right now, once again with Peter Wright. But if you're going to break records, you can't afford mistakes. Game no shot. mistake. He is in the zone. The average is 125. It is the equivalent of 12 darters every single leg. 55. This is no longer about Adrian Gray. This is no longer about whether Adrian Gray can win this game or even get into it. This is about whether Peter Wright can break records. Peter Wright can break records. He holds the record. But can he better it? 140. He's going to give himself a chance. 125. He broke this record before he became world champion. We knew he was playing some great stuff in spells last year, but now he is world champion. Now he is the Masters champion. It's almost as if it's unlocked something else. He said on Thursday night, just try being me. 140. Just jump into this body and feel what it feels like. It is amazing. And it must feel absolutely incredible to be able to do this time and time again. 100. We are potentially five darts away from a record being broken. Peter Wright's own record. 80 scored, yeah. And he is going to get a go at it. 105. He only requires one treble. Peter Wright in this game has been hitting one, two, three trebles per visit. 60. The average is in excess of 125. If the 116 checkout goes, we have a new world record. 57. Leaves tops. For the record. Oh, my word. Now, the question is whether he still breaks the record when he comes back. And to be honest, I don't have that information for you. He is certainly in the ballpark. 100. But this is absolutely stupendous 40. from Peter Snape by Wright. The world record on telly was 123.4 from MVG. Peter Wright beat it by 0 0.1 of a point as a broadcast record. Game and dark. double 10 is there to seal it with a 15 data, and he's frustrated at that. 6-0 with an average of 120. It is absolutely world-class, mind-blowing stuff. And Peter Wright's overwhelming feeling at the end of it is it could have been better. That is what winning the world title has done to this man. Snakebite is playing unreal darts right now, and he is through to his board final. Round three here at Players' Championship 5 in Wigan.